welcome back you guys glad to have you guys with us we've done this for three weeks and i just kind of wanted to show you this to start out our day so we're gonna look at these let me show you these are all got their true leaves these little bitty ones here at the bottom they're just non descript and then you got your individual leaves now these are your hillbillies see how these are different than these over here these have got the different little thumbs or whatever you want to call it but each one has got its own, like an oak leaf, maple leaf. It's different. But if you look at your true leaf, see this one's already fell off. There was one on this side. There's one on that side. They all have a pair. But if you look at your true leaves, each one is individual. Now, see this one over here is a little bit different. This one's got fingers on all sides. Now, these are your peppers. Now, its first true leaves are just starting. But if you look at this, this is a pepper. This is its first leaves here. And you go back in here to the back of there, you can see the uh, eggplant. Those are identical to these, which are identical to your first of your tomatoes. Now, these will fall off here. After they get a little older, they'll just fall off. And it's just all the same. But this is what you want to look for. These are your true leaves. And that's what you're getting excited about because now they're, they're starting to mature. But you can see how big they're getting. Some are bigger than others. Like I'll weed these out now. I'll probably cut these down to one in each one. But look at the bad boy there. I mean, they are just going crazy. They Loving look life. amazing. So this is three weeks of growth. So now you kind of been with us for three weeks on them. So let's hope for no failures because you're going to be watching the whole thing. So but we got plenty of peppers coming up. We got, oh wow, look at all the eggplants. How many in the back? Oh, we've got another one. One, two, three, four. Oh, we have a little baby back there yeah, coming up. Four out. of them back there now. So we got four plants and we only needed three. So we're good there. We got more than oh, three. Oh, this one's falling off right here. Yep, that's the original leaves. And see, these come in real thick. So we'll have to get some scissors and take some of these out. But, all right, you guys, we're going to head outside and we're going to show you guys some amendment and stuff like that going on. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so last video we did on the drip irrigation, we got all of our white PVC in the ground. We're ready to set up over there. Everything's back under our mulch. And as you can tell, we use the mulch, the natural mulch. And this just breaks down. There's no dyes in it. There's no chemicals in it. It's just natural wood chips, what you want to use. That way, you're not, nothing growing with the dyes or anything. Anyway, so we got everything in. We've got, our tarps are moving around here. We still got to finish burying that. That's why there's tarps up here. But we got our PVC in to each and every bed. Everything's buried, so we're ready to go. Now all we're gonna do is put a shutoff valve on each one of these, and then we can set up to whatever plant we're planting. We can do uh, individual water uh, lines too. Um, let's see, we're gonna get ready to top dress all this. We went and got some compost today. I'll show you that here in a minute. We started over here getting our lines out. And these are gonna be an inner potato, and an outer potato is what we're gonna do. We're gonna be using, I got more blues that we're gonna do the outside. And uh, this is what all of our potatoes are gonna be in. This whole area, we line it all along this area with potatoes. And we use these old um, Vita feed tubs. feed tubs is what they are. And they're big enough to hold a cattle bunch. Or cattle self what a bunch of potatoes. Um, let's see, over here, we're gonna be, this is this old stuff that we're gonna be digging out. It was in the potato buckets and stuff. Uh, over here, we got our plants that we overwintered. Uh, some of this stuff is stuff that I planted from seed and uh, last year, and then some of it is uh, closeout stuff that you know you can get a what is this a twenty-five dollar plant and you can get it for three dollars in closeout at the end of the year, and then some of them are even more fifty-dollar plants. But I bury them that way they overwinter a little bit better. There's a forty-dollar plant, quick fire. But most of this is uh, just helping it over winter. And then this is all the stuff. You can see it's starting to come up. This is stuff that I did last year and uh, from seed. All this down here, some roses that we got on sale at the end of the year. Um, just different stuff. And this all be coming out to this weekend. We're going to be doing a lot this weekend, getting everything top dressed. So let's head over here to where we're going to be top dressing. This is what we got today. We got the local compost place. Uh, we'll go over this here in a second, but uh, let me see here. We got this today. There's your flat gold there. Uh, 
good old compost there. That looks like dirt. And by next year, it will be 100% dirt. That's just good old compost there. Get that local compost place. And then we take that and we mix it with your peat moss. It's just any kind of peat moss you want to use. And this stuff is from last year, but it just, you crumble it up and it keeps your soil nice and, nice and soft. It don't let it get hard as a rock. And also helps hold moisture. So it serves two purposes. It does hold moisture, but at the same time, it don't let it pack. And then we just use the good old black cow uh, natural music uh, manure there. So that's the brand we chose. There's other brands out there. And then I just use a simple 10, 10, 10. That's got your nitrogen, your phosphorate, and your potash. Now, potash is in that. But another thing I, I want to say is, like when I grill out, when we have our campfires, we have a fire pit back here. Keep your ashes, I mean, before it rains, but after it cools, take that and the whiter it is, the more broke down it is, but take that and put it on your, your plants, in your gardens, anywhere, because that potash has nutrients in it, just like you'd buy at the store, but it's natural, it's from your wood. It's, it's broke down, and when you cook down the heavy, the smaller branches seem to do better, but it makes a potash, and that helps your minerals in your garden. It's just some free, you're enjoying your fire with your family, or you're cooking out with your coals, you know, as long as you're using a wood-based charcoal, you're fine. Um, that's just a, some free uh, fertilizer for your garden. So what we're going to do is I always just use my cart and I use about half of this and I'll mix uh, about half of this here and then I'll mix one of those bags and then just enough in this in there just to keep it to loose. You can feel it so it's not going to pack. It's hard to explain how much. I mean you can say one third, one third, one third, but that's a little bit too much. It's almost two thirds, one third, and then one third, but that doesn't add up to a so it's kind of hard to say. It's easier said than done. Um, well, let's show them how we do it. Well, we can do that, I guess. So, and by the way, if anybody has any new hats, this old man's been wearing this hat too long, uh, won't you put in the comment, and I'll send you my address for the old man. He needs a new hat. I like my hat. <laughs> I like my hat. And this is our garden dog. He actually will steal uh, vegetables off of the vines and trees and stuff and eat them. We have to watch him a lot. Alright. Just kind of along the bottom. I fill it up. Not quite half full of this. This is the fun stuff here. Now every once in a while you'll get a bag of this and it looks like it came right out of the cow's rear end so it's still green and slimy now this is from last year so it shouldn't be as bad nah see this is dry but every once in a while you get a present Donald doesn't call it a present but I do no, not when I go put my hands in it. It looks like a straight up green turd. It does. It's like a spread one. <laughs> you just take enough of this, just kind of break it up. And this peat moss will loosen up the. Keeps it from getting tight, keeps it from. It holds moisture and also keeps it from packing. packing. And that's why you use compost too, because in the compost you have leaves, you have dirt, you have sticks. Let's look at you that. You have a little of everything in there, so that also helps keep it from breaking down. If you just use normal dirt, soil, whatever topsoil, that will pack. Now that's great for the front yard, the flower beds, because now your bulbs can hold. If you've got a, a daffodil or anything that's standing tall, the taller uh, hollyhocks, anything that's going to be tall, you need some soil that packs where this doesn't pack. So you're, you'll never really be able to get a strong stalk on your flower. So you wouldn't want to do this with your flowers, but it's great for this. All right, let's see what that does. up 
Okay, now that we got that mixed up pretty good, this is that 1010. I'm just a little bit. A little bit in here. It don't take a lot. Because all the nutrients you need are in there. I just kind of give it a little bit of a jump start. So, just a little bit. This long lasting breaks down slow. These granules do. So we'll just throw a little bit in here. Alright. Now, that'll get mixed in as we go. So that's what we're going to top dress with everything. So now we're going to go over, get our bed leveled out, get all the weeds out. Uh, we got chickweed and a few other things in there. It doesn't hurt anything. It's not going to hurt anything. They're not really plants that hurt your garden. They don't take a whole lot and they kind of cover the ground. So it doesn't hurt. It's not really a cover crop, but it works. Um, so right now, we're going to go ahead and get over here and get things ready for this. Okay, this time, this year, thankfully, all we have to do is amend our soil. Last year, we filled all of our beds with compost. Uh, the black cow is what we use. Um, but basically, what we do is, this has just already been top dressed. This year, we're just taking that and top dressing, which is a lot simpler. Last year, we used one-third compost, one-third black cow, and one-third uh, peat moss. Uh, I'll explain that just in a minute when we get to it. But this year, thankfully, all we got to do is just top dress everything because we've already got good soil now. That compost has become good soil. As you can see, this is fresh. We just put this in here. And this is another mixture, but it's only the top three inches that we kind of mix in a little bit with the uh, bottom. And uh, we use just a little bit of black cow, some more compost. We use some fertilizer and we use some peat moss. So to get these where we are now, we first, as you can see, we've been over here weeding, get all the weeds out, the chickweed and the, everything that's been growing up over the winter. So what we'll do is we're just going to use it. We don't use a shovel. We just use this, kind of mix it in. That way you don't cut your worms in half and your, your worms are important. So this actually does a lot less damage. And you're just kind of blending that top a couple inches in. We're not digging down. We're not, not having to dig anymore. So this here is peat moss. This is just to keep your your moist, you know, your soil moist and it keeps it from packing. So like, uh, for example, this is fresh. So you know this is gonna be nice and loose. But this is from last year over here. And you can see by what we've done, we haven't weeded this. This has not been touched all year, but you can still, just with your hand, it's nice and easy and you can see it moving. So this is nice dirt now, it's dirt. Um, how do you wanna say that? But we're ready to go now. So we're just, like I say, top dressing. We're gonna get our pea bed here. These are gonna be our peas in here. We're gonna do some lettuce in here. We're gonna do our carrots in here. We're doing our radishes in this area. That's why we're starting over here. And then we'll get the rest of this beds all done throughout the day today. Because nature's finally given us a beautiful day to be out here finally. And uh, we're just gonna get all of our beds top dressed. And then we'll come back and show you a little bit later where we got what we're doing as we, get, as we go along here. So.
All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and finish spreading this out. It's starting to get a little dark and it's starting to get kind of cold. So we're gonna finish this out. You guys have a wonderful day and smile for us. Bye-bye.